In my game, students will apply the classroom skills they have learned throughout the year in an interactive game published on the CSD Music website, located at www.csdmusic.weebly.com. The game will reinforce their knowledge of the music that is taught in class throughout the year. The game will begin by having students create their avatar, who will travel throughout the game as their main character. The avatar will have the classic option of choosing male versus female, and then will further be created through the musical taste. The physical feature options will allow for following genres of music that we study in class, including rock and roll, hip-hop, classical, blues, Motown, jazz, and country. Simple alterations can then be made to change things such as hair color and clothing colors. From there, the avatar would get to choose an instrument. The choices for instrument would include microphone for voice, guitar, violin, saxophone, trumpet, drums, bass, banjo, recorder, and piano. Once the avatar is ready, they can choose their difficulty level for appropriate pacing, easy, medium, or hard, and then the game begins. At the start of the game, the avatar is faced with a message that corresponds with their genre of music. The message would indicate that the avatar's musical group, a rock band for example, has left on tour without them. Their goal is to find their group in time to make the concert. On the road to finding their group and making it to the concert, the avatar would be faced with several challenges that they would need to overcome within 60 seconds by using their musical knowledge. Once they completed the challenge, they would be rewarded with being closer to the ultimate goal of making the concert. Completing each challenge would, therefore, serve as a motivation by using an incentive. For example, the first challenge would be to drive to the airport. They would begin the stoplight where they heard a rhythmic pattern. Say it's quarter note, quarter note, eighth note, eighth note, quarter note. In order to drive the car in the right direction, they would need to find the corresponding notes that match the pattern and click on them with their computer mouse until they hit the next stoplight where they would hear another pattern, etc until they arrived at the airport to catch their plane. If the students hit the wrong note on the road, the car crashes and they have to start over again. Once they were at the airport, however, they would be faced with another challenge that tested their knowledge of note names, then another challenge about instruments of the orchestra, music history, and so on. Directions on how to complete each challenge would appear at the beginning of each challenge's segment. A box would pop up telling students how to use their mouse or arrows on their keyboard properly to navigate through their challenge. Upon completion of each game, students could see a record showing how fast they were able to complete each task and with what accuracy percentage as a form of feedback and assessment. In the end, when the avatar arrived at the concert, he or she would need to play the show and complete the game. The song the group played would then be offered to the student to download. As an additional incentive, students could download a different song for each genre they choose to select at the beginning of each game.